In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full review of the Skywatcher EQM35 Pro mount for astrophotography. All right, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's start off with the pros. The Skywatch EQM35 is a really good mount for tracking as it is very accurate and it doesn't have much star trailing, which is really good, especially for inaccurate polar alignment. Now, I would recommend still doing auto guiding if you're using a long focal length scope, but yeah, most of the time you won't need to use guiding. This is because the mount's accuracy is pretty good. Another pro is that it's very hefty, and this is actually a pro even though it's hard to carry. It's technically a pro because it's easier for the wind not to knock it or something like that, therefore preventing star trails. Another pro of this mount is its weight capacity. I have been able to put an 8 pound telescope on this mount and it's worked perfectly fine with no trails. And that was also without auto guiding, which is actually pretty good for an 8 pound scope. Now Will mentioned the camera I was using was only 2 pounds and I wasn't using an auto guider, so that reduces some of the weight too. But yes, the payload is very good on the mount for what it is. Another pro is it's very inexpensive for what it is. Obviously you're getting a lot of features like go to and stuff like that for the price and it's a very good deal. Alright now on to the cons. One of the cons of the mount is it's very heavy. Now I said hefty is a good thing, but technically when you want to carry it around for portability wise, it's kind of a con. It's very heavy to carry around, painful to drag around the car and take the dark sights. That's what I would not recommend doing. Yes, it is labeled as a portable mount, but technically it's really heavy. So especially if I have a heavier rig on it, it's kind of hard to carry around. If you want something more portable, I would recommend going for the iOptron Skygetter Pro. That was my previous mount. It did a pretty good job. Another con of this mount is that its go-to is not so accurate. I would say every time I do it, even a three-star alignment, the go-to is off just by a few little stars. What I do like about the go-to, on the other hand, when I had my Celestron 127 SLT mount, you had to manually slew to your star to align it. This mount can automatically try to predict where the star is in the sky and then it slews to it automatically and you just have to recenter it. That's all you have to do. It's much easier than slewing to it by yourself completely. If you're a beginner and need good tracking capabilities and you don't really mind the non-portability of it and you also want to have a higher payload capacity and you're fine with staying at home, I would recommend getting this mount. Now if you're a beginner and you don't really need the hefty payload, you want auto guiding but you don't necessarily want to stay at home and you actually want to go to a dark site and make it more portable, then I would recommend probably going for something like the iOptron Skyder Pro or the Skywatcher Star Adventure or the GTI just came out. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Did you decide to get this mount? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.